Hey, you guys, hang on. I'm going to tighten the neck on this. Let's see if I can. Okay, so <laughs> I just now got back home and I want you guys to know, like, I'm a little bit sweaty. I'm a little bit hot. I'm a little bit of a hot mess, but just bear with me. Okay, so I love horse stuff. I order and order and order to the point that boxes are constantly coming to the house. And probably over the last two weeks, I've kind of been on the road. We've been to some horse sales. And I've been around a lot of people that have horses. And they're like, oh my God, that is the coolest stuff. Where do you get this or where do you get that? And then I realized I have an entire page of customers who don't even know some of my cool tricks and tips. So I want to show you guys some of the stuff that I buy on Amazon, like these bathing gloves. That way you guys know some of the cool stuff that I buy and you know what you can and can't waste your money on. So first of all, um, we do buy lots and lots of horses to go back to sales. Uh, we have a lot of race horses. I run barrels as a hobby. Um, you know, we just have a lot of horses. So I keep these. They're called Sullivan's Mini Soap Foamers. They look like this, just so you guys know. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I see you guys constantly buying the big bulky, you know, when it's got the big thing on it. Uh, Easy Alls, I think is what they're called. And I, I like them, I mean, it's a great, idea but they have them on Amazon for like I think I found these on sale for $12 I don't know that that's what they normally cost but I do know that I found these on sale for $12 and it's basically an easy all you take this off you put your soap in this part you put this back on and it fills up with water and you have two triggers and it shows on here Sullivan's mini soap foamer Perfect for sheep's goats and show pigs. But because it's not for horses, it's like next to nothing of the price. You put the hose in here. It's got just water. You can turn the soap foamer on here. I don't think that these have a little thing that comes down. So I order these off of Amazon. You can find them on sale. And here's the deal, you guys. Somebody that shares this video i am going to put a little package together we're going to pick one person probably tomorrow evening um, maybe friday evening on live hey jessica how are you hey lane so as you guys pop on make sure that you say hey let me know that you're here so that i see your names and that way when we pick somebody i'll probably pick somebody that commented a little bit but you have to share it so share this with all your horse friends let them know that i'm going to do these videos once a week and it's gonna be like, hey Lynn, how are you? It's gonna be, um, hey Amanda. It's gonna be like just good cheap hacks that you can find. So these right here are, I think I bought these on sale for 12. Maybe they're originally 20, but they're half the price of the Easy Alls. Hey Rose, hey Suzanne. Um, hey Carson, how are you? Hey Jacqueline. Okay, so here's another one. This is a car kit. Hey Lisa, I found these. Um, so, hey Anna. And how do you pronounce your name? Is it Dicea? Is that how you pronounce it? Let me know. First of all, it comes with this doohickey. Um, this came off of Amazon. I might be able to find the link. Um, and it says car wash foam gun, leak free connection made in China. And I got this for $8 on Amazon. So first of all, it comes with this sponge right here. And I love these for the horse's faces, just so y'all know. Um, oh gosh, the Judy, Tara, Cindy, they're like coming super fast. Okay, I'm fixing to show you. I am fixing to show you winter blankets because I buy winter blankets from Big D that are 1680 denier and they're amazing. Okay, so they, it comes with this first of all, and I love this for the horse's faces. I just spray from the hose onto this and you can wipe the horse's faces. So it comes with this, it's like basically free because I gave $8 for all of this. I wanna say that I found these on Wish originally and was scared so I went on Amazon and found it. But look, it's like basically, it's like almost identical to an easy all. And you get this for eight bucks and it comes with this doohickey that you can, 
You know what these right here are really good for? To spray with fly spray and then wipe their faces with. Wipe the fly spray on their face so you're not spraying right in their eyes. Hey, Amy Catherine! So, this is $8. It's a car wash kit on Amazon. I know that Wish had them. I was scared to order off a of Wish. I'm not gonna lie, so I went to Amazon. You get this for free. You can wash their face with this. You can spray fly spray onto this, wipe onto their face. I love this set for $8 on Amazon. And for those of you that are easy all buyers, this is just as good, if not better. And if your horse breaks it, runs over it, whatever, it does not matter. <coughs> so while we're on the bathing stuff, I got these off of Amazon also. These are called pet grooming gloves. You normally have to go to the dog section. What I like to do is to put my soap in the foamer, spray the soap all over my horse, put these bad boys on. And then go all over my horse like this with both hands on their legs. These are really good if you have horses with scratches. You can put in the fingers, you can coat the fingers with the hay wears that blue stuff soap and scrub around the ankles and around the pasturings with these gloves on. Oh, Heather, I couldn't believe whenever I was in my tack room of my trailer, all the people that were like crowding around at the horse cell looking at all of my stuff, I actually got a little bit uncomfortable. They were like, holy crap, you have the coolest stuff in here that we didn't even know about. And I'm like, how do y'all not know about this? And then I thought about it and I'm like, because I fall down rabbit holes at night when I can't sleep like this. And I watch all kinds of random videos on YouTube for hours. And I picked up each one of these things from different places and have put them all into one place. And y'all deserve to know. I mean, my customers are the best people in the world to me. And I'm like, I am holding out on you. So these, I think it comes as a set. Maybe they were $12. And they do protect your hands too, like if you have a horse with scratches. Nobody really wants to get in there good with your fingernails. I mean, we've all done it. All of us have had acrylic nails and got in there with our acrylics and like done the fetlock and got the scratches good. And you know, then after you know it, you have like junk under your nails and you know. And then we like eat a sandwich and realize that we didn't wash our hands that good. Or is that just me? <laughs> Oh, probably just me, but it's happened. Hey, Barb. Uh, Barb Bowers, how are you? Hey, Bailey. So you do need all of these things. So these are like $12 and they are pet grooming gloves. They don't say horse at all. They do sell ones that are for horses and they're like five times the price. They're like $39. Just go on Amazon and go to pet grooming gloves and just buy these. It comes in a set of two. And like I said, I put my soap in, I spray my whole horse down with soap, and then I go back and I massage and I go down the legs and around the pasterns, and they're not hard at all. They do bend, so it's not hard on them. No, I know it's not just me. I have been at some meals before where we were all like, ew, none of us washed our hands, you know, and we're like, mm, and then we all run off to the bathroom, so after we had started chips and queso. <laughs> Amy Catherine, you've been there, you know. So, um, these are amazing. These are amazing. These are amazing. And again, go to the pet grooming gloves. They sell them for cats, for dogs, just whatever pairs the cheapest because you're going to go through probably two pair a year. So, um, I just buy whatever's cheapest. And that way you can go all over the horse, scrub, and then I just pop the hose off of the Easy All gun and just spray water and get all the soaps and suds off. Now then, this is the part that is a little bit more expensive and I have yet to find anything I have. Oh, Andrea, I've done it so many times. Carson, you guys don't even wanna know. I wish that I had um, a cheaper alternative for you. When I have horses with a lot of fungus and things like that, I use Dawn dish soap. It works really, really good. But to, if you have horses, you're going to competition or you're going to a horse sell and you really need to put a shine on a horse, I have not found a better product than this and in this order, so I hate that I don't have like a super amazing, you know, like cheap hack 
for this part, and I don't, because I can tell you what I paid for each of these products because my bill is right here from Snyder's. If anybody knows that somebody that owns this company, if they would like to give us a code, I will rep their products. That way all of my customers and followers can use a code and order this stuff because I would love for you guys to see the quality of these products. I do not think that they are cheap, but I also think that they're cost effective because of how little you have to use. So what I do, just so you guys know, is I put a little bit of this foaming shampoo. You wanna make sure you get the foaming shampoo. It works best in your little easy all. And I, I do the foaming shampoo. It's my favorite. After I wash the horse completely off, I'm talking, I have foaming shampooed his entire body with this. It's called Equifuse Citra Foam. This foaming shampoo suds up really good in the sprayer. It gives your horse a really good foamy good bath. And it is Equifuse Citra Foamer and you do want the foaming shampoo. Their concentrate shampoo is amazing also. It just doesn't work as good in the foamer or in the sprayer. So once I have completely, completely, you know, sprayed the entire horse off, done my gloves, washed them. The next step is this. And this is called the Step One Coat Protector Conditioner. And I put this much right here into a little spray bottle. And I spray this, because this is concentrated. And what you're gonna do is it says, um, for best results, result, re good. For best results, dilute one ounce into one gallon of warm or cold water. So I don't even do that. I put one ounce, which is this right here, into a spray bottle, like just a spray bottle about like this size with a sprayer. And I just spray the entire horse with this. And what this does is it conditions the hair and it conditions the skin. So if you guys have horses that are itchy or you have horses that get dry spots or that rub their manes, this will help so much. So I put this all over the body and it doesn't make them slick underneath the saddle. So you get that show sheeny shine without the saddle slipping or without their body being slick. And then the next step is this in their manes and tails. I don't use this on their body, but this is the deep conditioner rehydrate and this stuff smells to die for. I used to only use a product called um, Gleam not Gleam, uh, Equilocity, and they don't make it anymore. So let me tell you what I love about this. If you buy this Equifuse, make sure you guys see it, the Citra Cream keeps mosquitoes away. I don't know why. I'm sure because of the Citronella in it. Duh, I'm a dumbass. I'm like, I don't know why the mosquitoes leave my horses alone. I have Citronella. Anyway, that was stupid. I put this in the manes and tails, and that way when your horses flap and their hair hits their body, this has a very, very, very strong citronella smell. So it smells good, and it keeps the mosquitoes at bay, and it's a great mane and tail dehydrant. And then after all of that, they do have a perfect shine spray if you wanna touch up. I went ahead and kind of ordered all their products just to try them. And I will tell you that this product right here is their Equifuse Gleam. If you get rat tails or witch knots, that just put it in there, it's better than baby oil. It'll pop them right out. But their foaming shampoo, their body conditioner, which is called the Rehydrate. So basically these three products are all you need. This is their foaming shampoo. Bailey, I bought mine out of Schneider's and I'll see if we can get a coupon, but this is the Equifuse Gleam. Oh, this is the Equifuse Gleam over there. This is the Equifuse Citra Foam Shampoo. So you'll put this in your little spray gun. Then after you do that, you'll put this in a spray bottle, like a $1 spray bottle, and you'll spray this all over the body. And then you'll put this in the mane and tail. And again, this has a citronella smell. So all of these products do, and it does keep the mosquitoes and the flies back. And it does work. I live in fly country. So... I hope these are some really cool hacks for you guys. Um, the sprayers, like I said, this right here is one of my favorite products. I still use Piranha, and I'm just telling you, you can pop this off, spray this with fly spray, and then go and you can 
put it here. If you have a horse that's scared of the sprayer, you can spray this really good underneath their arms, around the girt area to make sure that you get this really good. Another thing I found on Amazon that's really badass is I found this scooper. It's clear. So if you're mixing feeds or whatever, you can see. But this line right here is two pounds and this line right here is four pounds of pelleted feed. So you have a two pound line, a four pound line. It's clear. So when you're mixing different feeds, you can see. I like this. I like this a lot. And it's very sturdy and it's got a really nice handle. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, I was using this coat protector. This is the Sunflower SPF coat protector. And I actually had somebody recommend the Equifuse brand, which is this one. And these are the same price. So you get one bottle for this price that's already diluted, or you get all of this, and it makes about, you can do about half an ounce per spray bottle. So this makes about 30 bottles. So just remember, same price, great, ama great amazing product, great amazing product, concentrated, not concentrated, more bang for your buck. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Divit. <laughs> um, this is the O-ring I start all my colts in. It was in the back seat of my car. So it's in here. I have flare strips. I'm like, what else is in here? How funny. I just have all kinds of random things. Um, oh, winter blankets. I bought some, I bought two things. Hold on one second. I'm sitting here with all my stuff that has come in, in the mail. You could just die if you saw my thing. So, I want to talk about these two things right here. Whoa, 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 we're falling. Okay. These are the winter blankets that I buy. They are from Big D. And they are 1,680 denier, which is very strong for winter blankets, like exceptionally strong. And they are fluorescent. So they're this burgundy color, but if you see me turn it and it turns gray to burgundy, if headlights hit this, it is actually fluorescent. So if you have horses that you turn out in the pasture at nighttime and in the winter, you're like me and you're just afraid during deer season or whatever, somebody might mistake in your horse for anything. These blankets are fluorescent, but they're not obnoxious. They're not obnoxious like the orange ones. They are just a very burgundy color. You can see where they shift to that white color. But if headlights or a scope hit these, it looks like a freaking moonbeam. But they are waterproof. They have a full year warranty, maybe a two year warranty. Um, but they are waterproof, they're breathable, blah, blah, blah. And they are 1,680 denier. And I wanna say I pay $70 for the lightweight ones and maybe $80 for the medium weight ones. In Louisiana, we buy a lot of, we buy a lot of lightweight blankets just because those are really heavy quality. And even though they only have 150 grams of polyfill, they're a super wind resistant, waterproof kind of blanket. So the lightweights are good for here, but if you live abroad, you might want more. Now, I recently bought these and I'm in love. These are the new XLRB magnetic velocity sheets. They are not only infrared material, they are also magnetic. And I'm just gonna tell you, I do PEMF treatments on my horses and I have found that this blanket is so good. I have tried pH tree, I've tried Benefab, I've tried everything. I have several different types of magnetic products and I think these are amazing and these are very affordable. I bought one and actually I borrowed the first one, loved it, bought another one, um, saw like the moment I put it on Petra she was like licking her lips and yawning and it was just so obvious that this blanket had like a big release for her that um, I ordered more <laughs> so now Rachel Petra sister and tequila all have their own but these are less than $300 and I'm gonna tell you that the other blankets that are 
I want to say these were 260. But I want to say the PHT ones are almost 500, and I think the Benefab ones are over 300. So they are a really good bang for your buck. It's one of those save up if you have a horse that you could compete on type items, it's not a necessity, but it's a great thing. If you're already gonna buy a fly sheet in the summer, you're spending 80 to $100, I would go ahead and save up and splurge on a magnetic fly sheet. That way you have those therapeutic benefits. Um, that's just me. Now, another product that I think you guys should know about, for any of you guys that ride older horses, yeah, tequila, we call her Tiki. Um, any of you guys that have horses that you ride that are older or horses that have mild navicular or you just have an older horse that's getting a little bit of arthritis, I want to introduce you to this product. This is OE Game Changer. I buy three or six of these at a time. Um, I used to buy six, which is a full case, and then I have two horses out right now, and so I just send one there and one there. So I got three this last time, but this is a product that I keep on like on hand basically it is spirulina glucosamine msm hyaluronic acid turmeric um Q, uh, coq10 and i'm telling you that this is i had a horse that we were doing injections all the time on one fetlock in his hawks and i'm talking like every four months to keep him performance sound he's been a year right now he's at a year with no injections so if you have something with bad arthritis or something that's having to be injected or something that just has overall uncomfortable inflammation, this has major, major, major anti-inflammatory properties and it's not hard on their stomach at all. And it's called Game Changer and it's by OE Nutraceuticals and it's a 60 day supply. So when you see the price, calm down, calm down. It's 60 days, it's um, a two month supply. So um, you give one and a half scoops per day and it's, I think, 64 doses. So it is a two month supply. Um, it is outstanding, honestly. Probably one of the best products I've ever, 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 ever used as far as a joint supplement. So aside from that, everything else here is pretty just standard, like it was like tack that I brought in, saddle pads. Um, yeah, you to get, you know, TK's tack set. Everything else behind me is just kind of stuff that we brought in to make room for our clothes. But I thought while I was here, some of this stuff you guys needed to know about, like these. I just think they are super affordable bathing hacks. It's all, bathing season's almost over. But I do generally give everybody a couple of really good deep cleans right before it gets colder. That way when I put their sheet and their blanket um, on them, they're super clean underneath and hopefully I can get through the winter. So I say bathing season's over and I'm fixing to probably give about two super deep cleans before winter. So when I start, I start putting sheets on everybody first. So anyway, make sure that you like this, share, comment, and we will put a little pack together. We'll probably do like a set of these with one of these and like a shampoo and um, I'll just mail it directly from the companies to whoever wins. So just make sure you like, comment, share, and we'll just go through and look and see, and we'll pick one random person and do something nice, because it's September, it's my birthday month, so everybody should get something for September, I feel like. So I'm gonna start doing these about once a week, just so you turn on the notifications. Go. This is my business page, just go to the top, turn on the notifications. Um, when you do turn on the notifications, just make sure you select to see first. When I go live, you'll see me. I'll start giving you guys some hacks. I recently got these. I wish I had the full sets to show you. I don't because only half came. I contacted the company. Hopefully, they'll send the other halves. I don't really know what's going on there. Um, a girl on my Facebook sells these. They are the pro... Um, Pro Orthopedic H2O Sports Boots. They are so cool. They have four-way um, stretch. These are really freaking cool, just so you know. Really well made. I just don't have the full set yet to start testing them out to tell you if I like them or not or how I feel like they feel and fit because I don't have the full sets. I think I only have the Heinz. So, uh, my birthday is the 22nd of September and I will be 34. 
Do I look 34? I ask people that all the time. I'm like, I don't even remotely feel close to 34. I don't know if I look that old. I probably do. I don't feel that old. I know that. I feel like I'm 24. So I'm going to keep that mindset. I'm 10 years younger. <laughs> but I will say that, um, yes, you can, yep, Cindy, just share with your friends, share on Facebook, just whatever, tag people. I just like to do nice stuff for people. I don't think that you guys realize that this page does so much for the horses. I literally put an SOS out for the warm bloods and while they did ship a lot of them before we could even go through them, we were able to find some amazing homes for some of the warm bloods because people were just like on it. And I just thought, you know what? It's amazing to be surrounded by people that when I put out smoke signals for the horses, um, people are willing to help them. And there's a lot of people on Facebook that are very cynical and they're like, she owns a kill pen. She doesn't care about the horses. You know what? I'm not here to debate all of that. What I'm here to say is this is such an amazing page with so many amazing great horsewomen. And that's what I love. I love to surround myself by people that are positive and that are just, just open-minded. And I think that is just so, I don't know. I just think that is just so cool. Uh, Maybe, you know, I've had other people say that, that I, I handle my business like a shrewd businesswoman and I, I don't know, I've just been doing it for a long time. I think I learned a really, a lot of really hard lessons in my 20s, doing dumb things I shouldn't have done, trying to rob Peter to pay Paul. I just learned a lot of really hard lessons in my 20s that I was smart enough to learn from. Like, you don't repeat those. I hope that makes sense. You just don't repeat those lessons just learn them, learn from them, and vibrate higher. <laughs> and that's what I focus on. I'm like, I'm just, I'm just focused on like vibrating higher and bringing positivity to the world. But I'm super stoked about all of these like cool things that I find that I just take for granted that everybody knows. And I realized recently that not everybody knows about this cool stuff on Amazon. So I hope you guys got some um, value out of this video. And I hope that you guys will start listening to the podcast again. I do have a podcast. I took all the episodes down. Don't freak out. I just had somebody involved in the podcast before that and had really just kind of pulled the wool over my eyes. We've all been there. We've all just valued somebody and thought that they were such a good person only to find out that they were such a snake. And I just felt like, you know what? It's my podcast and I want to add value to people's life and not talk about stupid shit. Um, Murphy is great and he is actually looking for a home. So if anybody's looking for an amazing trail gilding inbox, he is ready to go. He is doing good. He rides good. He's never probably going to be a performance horse long term. Um, right now he could, but I'm just afraid that that would tear him up and uh, affect his long term quality of life. But if somebody wanted to buy him for a trail horse, he would be amazing. Um, Lane, my podcast is called The Horse Trader's Diary. And the Horse Trader's Diary is on Apple Podcasts. It's also in Spotify. Um, I think we had 10 episodes out, and I think there's just the original episode out now. Jacob and I re-recorded the commercial this weekend, and we have two episodes that I've submitted to be. Normally, I can submit them from my phone, but we were in, like, serious Amish country, so we had no reception. I've submitted them. They'll probably be up to, like, tomorrow, maybe Friday, and then, like, Monday. But... I just talk about life and a lot of a lot of lessons. Like if you're somebody that runs a business, if you're somebody that deals with people in your life that um, disappoint you, if you ever just need somebody to kind of listen to their vent because you can relate, that's what that podcast is for. It's like my diary of what it's like to be a horse trader in 2020. First of all, horse traders get horrible reputations and sometimes not even, like I read the other day, this lady was like, oh my God, I know about that kill pin in Louisiana. They killed a dog and they said, and it's not even us. She was talking about Bastrop and how social media allows people to like have an opinion and they don't know you. They don't have any firsthand facts. They'll just, people will say things on social media, you guys, and you're like, you don't even know, you know, nothing, you know, nothing. And as you guys know, Jacob has a big family and, um, they are not shy to controversy and most of them have been arrested. I don't know. Do any of you guys have somebody in your family that you really love and you just constantly are like, I still love you? Anyway, Jacob's family is its own. But my family is like just super like 
quiet and docile and my dad trains racehorses and my mom is just like an amazing person she's an accountant my mom is like amazing she does books so um I come from like a way different life than what I live in now and my podcast um like the next episode just talks about my struggle of how hard it was for me to go from being um a racehorse trainer's daughter and somebody who barrel raced to dating somebody whose family buys animals for slaughter and to learn over over the last nine years that slaughter is what's best and how hard it was in the beginning for me and how um i don't want to say that i was ever anti-slaughter but i mean sometimes you can say hey i understand why there needs to be a dog catcher but you don't want to be the dog catcher you know like oh i understand that there are people that you know have to work in nursing homes with the elderly and see dementia and all of those heartbreaking things but like it's not for me like i can tell you for me i value people over animals and i couldn't handle that i couldn't handle my one of my best friends is an attorney that works um cases for like kids that have been trafficked or kids that have been molested and i couldn't i i she, what she sees and what she emotionally has to process on a regular basis is so gut-wrenching i couldn't do that but she can and she's amazing at it and she's a voice for the voiceless and so some of my podcasts discuss that about how i decided that there was going to be slaughter whether i had anything to do with it or not so the coolest thing about me is that i'm rational enough to go i can't save them all but we are sure as hell going to try to save all the ones that we can and I'm gonna sell them to amazing people who understand that these horses have been through a lot and are going to start the rehabilitation process so these horses can heal and go back into society and be such a valued asset to a family and know love and to know a great future when somebody else had deemed them worthless. And I think as humans, we've all felt that way. Raise your hand if anybody's ever made you feel like you're a disposable piece of trash. And I think that we've all been there. We've all had somebody that didn't value us and threw us away and tr treated us like shit. And we know what that feels like. And sometimes these horses end up in the kill pen due to no fault of their own because we live in a throwaway society. People throw away their marriages. People throw away their children. Um, people throw away their family. We can say that we know people who have thrown away people in their life. And if you can throw away people, you can throw away animals. And so now, it, I have the opportunity to just bring so much love and light to such a dark situation. And anytime you're trying to bring love and light to a dark situation, you are going to bring out darkness as well. I have haters. I have people that say we abuse horses. We starve them. They don't have a clue. They don't. But somebody else posted something or somebody else said something and they just took it for fact. And if I ever leave you with a lesson and this is one of Tara's lessons and I have said this to people lately and I'm so proud of this thought that I just kind of came to one night when I was meditating I'm very woo woo by the way I was meditating and I came to this really just profound thought have you ever done that have you ever just been like man that came from somewhere deep and it wasn't me but um you know I think I'm going to save that for the podcast. I think I am because it's that profound. But I will just say that I think that we all have the opportunity to do something great. Great for the horses. Great for each other. To be such a great positive influence on one another. And to just be supportive. Um, because we live in a world where there's a lot of negativity. And I think that if all you do is just bring joy to people. Even for just a moment of their day. You bring a smile. You bring an aha moment. I think that's valuable. So my goal in life from this point forward is just to add value to the horses and to the people around me. And I think that's very important. But I will say that the thought that I had while meditating recently was a very good thought. And I am going to save that for a podcast because it's kind of a lengthy lesson. But it's just one of those tips to where how you treat people is just who you are. And how other people see you is who they are. And I want you to know that. I want you to know that... When people are online talking bad about me, I see some of you guys try to defend me. Just don't. Actually, one thing I said recently that was an aha moment is that somebody that's a friend to everyone is loyal to no one. So be careful 
I try, like if, if somebody is ugly to me and somebody I'm close to is friends with that person, I know now neither one of those people are really my friends because my friends don't hang around people who bash me, who talk bad about me. And I want you guys to take that in and to know that it's okay to back away from friendships when those people like everyone. Because literally people that are friendly with everyone and you're like, oh, well, they were friends with them and we don't like each other. Girl, they talk bad about you when you're not around. That's just humans. And another thing is make sure that you base your opinion of people, okay? Base your opinion of people on your firsthand experience. If you take what other people say about someone else, it means that you don't value your own, uh, own opinion or your own experience. You value somebody else's opinion over yours. I've had people that people talk horrible about and I just love them and have had great experiences with them. You know, I mean, there, there's horse traders, there's horse trainers, there's all kinds of people in this world that people have bashed and bad mouthed and I just love them. I absolutely adore them and think that they're great people and I got to know them on a personal level and found out that sometimes people don't like people because of second or third hand information and by the time it gets back to person four, it doesn't even resemble the truth anymore. So as you watch this video tonight, I just hope that if you've ever had animosity or hate towards somebody that you really don't know, just lay it down. First of all, because you shouldn't let anybody control you enough. I hear bad stuff about people all the time and it goes in one ear and out the other. Do you know why? Because I don't care enough to get in the middle of it. It doesn't, it doesn't serve me in any way. And the quicker that you start doing things that serve you, guess what? The quicker you'll start being on a very one-way track to success. I have become very successful at a young age and I did it because I just focus on me, I focus on mine, I focus on the horses in front of me and I focus on the tribe around me and this is us. And anything outside of here just isn't my business. It's just not my business. It's not my business if Susie does Sally's husband and so and so sold this, I, girl, I don't care. Ain't none of that my business. You know what my business is? Me, those horses, and those of you who purchased them from me and trying to make sure that my customers have a great experience. And that is self-growth, Sarah. That is self-growth and it is so important. And so I hope that from this day forward, you guys know that if you ever purchase a horse from me, my phone is on. I have people that got a horse home. He's been colicky. I told her from the get-go, I'm certain it's ulcers. She wasn't sure, took him to the vet. Sure enough, scoped him. She called me back. She was like, you're right, what do we do? I've spent hours trying to help her come up with a game plan to just make his life more comfortable. The horses that leave me on the private side back to you guys are like family to me. Those horses came to me first. I looked them in the eye. I told them I was gonna find them a better situation. And I want you to know that if you get a horse for me and it, you're like, I don't know about this, call me. Because that horse is still my responsibility. So I, I think they're like family. And I don't take that lightly. So once you purchase from me, it's kind of a forever type deal. And don't, you know what? Good, bad, or indifferent, pick up the phone. Let's talk about it. Let's get to the bottom of it. Because a lot of horses are so discombobulated by the time that they get to you, you're like, this thing is like kind of shaken up and in a whole nother world. Let's, let's start. First of all, y'all, I want to show y'all something. Y'all are going to laugh. So this is hanging on the back of the couch. So we have my coat because we were up north where it's super um, cold. But I wanna show you guys something. This is my purse, by the way, that I'm, I love. So, you know, we have like a hairbrush, a mask, Tinley socks. So, I mean, my wallet, these are Tinley's Mardi Gras beads a rock my child picked up but oh, I've got all kinds of stuff in here room keys um got a dollar bill y'all in this pocket of my purse I have sage and palo santo and do you know that a lot of times when I buy horses and I can tell that they have just been through the ringer I will speak over them protection and kindness and burn some sage, just not close to them, just enough to where they can get a little smell and around them and just try to 
remind them that they are okay to take back what is theirs. Their self-worth, their pride, um, their dignity, their love for people, all of the things that they were sent here with that maybe have been robbed from them. So we banish and then we invite in love, light, and a new great home with this. And I carry it in my purse. That's how serious I am about woo-woo. So I don't know where I was five years ago when some of you first met me, but I know that today it is important for us to all focus on the horses going to great homes and to just really inviting love and light back in. And yes, we have Tinley socks in my purse and my earrings from the other day because I had these beautiful earrings that were made for me from a wonderful company in Stephenville. Let me show them to you. That boy is so talented. You guys should go show his page some love. I wish I could remember the name. I think it's called Grateful J, if I'm not mistaken. Grateful J Jewelry. And these are gorgeous. And I had these in. Oh, I was looking. I had on a Tasha Pelosi shirt with my bag. I was looking like a whole dime, just so y'all know. But my child wouldn't stop pulling my earrings outside to take them off. And I was so sad because they're just gorgeous. But Grateful J, I'm almost positive they're branded on the back. But I don't remember... I, almost, I think it's called Grateful Jay Designs, and he is amazing. And they were very affordable, like, I don't think they were over $100. And they're big, and they have big pieces of real turquoise, which has got so much positive vibration. Turquoise is just such a positive stone that brings so much love and light. You know, I love to have turquoise around. So anyway, um, and this, by the way, was made by um, 76 Rivet, Rivet? Let me see. Um, 76 and riveted uh, leather company. And you know what I love the most is that the bridle has real bridle hardware. I don't know if you guys can see, but she hand did all of this and um, it's got horse detail. Anyway, it's phenomenal. Jacob allowed me to get this because the gray horse matches the gray horse with the blue eye that's not only our logo, but also the logo for my podcast. And we just totally felt like it was like a thing. It was, it was kind of an expensive piece, but it's one of those pieces I'll have for a really long time. And I'm so proud that I've made enough money this year that I could afford this. And the reason I say that is because, um, what a talented artist, you know, like, look how talented, just look at the details in the side of this, like, look at the deets like she is so talented and i'm just so grateful to be in the position that i can support somebody and i mean i'm sure there are people who hate you know and they're going to be like oh well she went and bought i am so grateful that i can afford this piece and support such a talented woman we have so many talented women in this world and it is so cool to be able to support them just like the kid that makes the earrings he's just a young like kind of a new up and coming like jeweler trying to make cool jewelry like I am so grateful to be in the position that I can support fellow like business owners so my mindset's a little different than most people's so bear with me but I promise if you follow for very long you too will start having that successful mindset because it's contagious <laughs> so I love you guys I hope you all have a great night I hope you love my cheap Amazon hacks some things are better just cheap on Amazon, but I will see you guys. And don't forget tomorrow. Um, okay, Christine, she has a Instagram and a website. And again, it is 76. The inside of my purse is beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's called 76. So like 76, the and sign riveted, R-I-V-E-T-E-D, -E -E leather company. And um, her logo is a flying pig. How badass is that? So anyway, I love that bag. She has a purple one now with a beautiful sorrel horse and I think it's amazing as well. And I love purple, but I like purple. Like if it would have been this color purple, I would have got it instead, but it's not. It's like um, a lighter purple and I love it. I just thought that the rest was like so classic, but honestly what sold me was the gray horse with the blue eye. <laughs> So, all right, you guys, I love each and every one of you. We will be videoing horses tomorrow and Friday. Make sure you turn on your notifications. Make sure if you're ready to buy, let's pull those triggers. Let's get these horses out of here. Let's get them into good homes. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.